The Mago Holding could possibly turn the Zombies meta on its head. This acquisition has the potential to turn previously underused guns into top tier weapons. So let's see if we can find some good ones. A weapon that I've seen talked about that the Mago Holding could improve a lot is the Tech Evolver. And that's because when Pack-a-Punch, your reserved ammo is 1,500 bullets. That's a lot of ammo for a gun. But I went in and I tested it out thinking, hey, this might be good. It was bad, but you guys weren't wrong. It did have a lot of ammo, but it just did not do a whole lot of damage. It honestly kind of felt like a waste of a Magal holding, but at least now I know that that weapon, probably not the best to use it on. So I tried one of the more out of the box picks and I used the Core 45 with its aftermarket part because with that aftermarket part, it shoots a bullet for every time you pull the trigger and let go of it. And back in season one, when I was doing my aftermarket part testing, the Core 45 was actually one of the better aftermarket parts you could use. But in practice, even while legendary Pack-a-Punch 3 with the mag up holding, it wasn't that good. But I got two other weapons that I want to test out. One of the weapons that I really wanted to see with the mag of holding is the Lockwood 300 here. And this just isn't any Lockwood 300. This is the Lockwood 300 with the dual shot build. And speaking of build, here's the one I'm using for it. So my thought behind this is you can see that there's only two bullets in this. So once I pull the trigger, both of them are gone. I'm gonna have to reload every single time. But if we throw the mag of holding on here and I don't have to reload after every shot, maybe this could be nice. But chances are I could be disappointed and this weapon could be bad. So I brought in something a little bit better and that's the shotgun's newest darling, the Haymaker. And this is the build that I'm gonna be using for it. So we're gonna find out real fast if this is any good with the Mago holding. Let's pack a punch it. Let's throw on our legendary Aether tool and let's throw on the Mago holding on this. So now we have 94 rounds here and we don't have to reload. So maybe... This could be good. These tier one zombies sure aren't liking it. And let's do the same thing to our haymaker here. Pack a punch two, rare rarity or legendary rarity and our mag of holding. Wait, what? It's already on there. What happened? Did I just dupe a mag of holding somehow? Or did I bring in more than I thought? Cause it's now on both of my guns and I don't think I put it on both of them. You know what? I'm not gonna ask too many questions. If it works and I get to keep another acquisition, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. But let's go give this a test run on some poor tier two bounty. All right, what's our bounty gonna be? A disciple, perfect. All right, moment of truth. Disciple, how you liking this? So far, it's not bad. It shoots actually kind of quick too and took him out pretty quick. All right, Lockwood, I see you. Now let's see if this Lockwood can handle taking on a horde of zombies at a time from this Outlast. Let's throw a decoy, get them all grouped together. And can I just take out this whole group in a few shots? Oh. Took out almost all of them. So far, this Lockwood, kind of impressive. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting a whole lot from it. And if you have a keen eye, you might've noticed that I didn't put slugs in the Lockwood here. And that's because slugs are very hit or miss in a lot of shotguns. Like it's only recently that the slugs started working properly on our Haymaker. So I didn't want to come in here and, you know, waste all my good loot on a gun with an attachment that I didn't even know if it would work. But so far with this, it's doing pretty good. And I'm just going to keep doing these tier two bounties, any contract I can get my hands on until I got enough to get pack three. And we'll take this over to the tier three zone and see what's going on there with it. Oh, the Wonder Wall. I ain't using you though. Huh. Look at these mercs just getting handled by these mimics. Hold on, let's watch the show. Actually, you know what? That guy can go. Get him. Sick him. Not me. Get them. These guys right here. Them. Go ahead. Eat their ass. All right, whatever, Mimic. Your funeral. I was going to let you just eat these dudes. But no. You had to be a dick and try to kill me. But while we're finishing off this last bounty so we can go get pack three, if there's any weapons you want to see me try to test out with Mago holding, let me know. I will say, though... One weapon I know for sure that doesn't work is the crossbow. I already went and tried it when I went into the Dark Aether one of the first times. And when I threw it on there, it literally just disappeared and I still had to reload the crossbow after every shot. So kind of disappointing because that would have been busted, but I guess it leaves more opportunity for some other guns to shine because the crossbow is already good on its own. Time to see your true full potential, Lockwood. Let's get you pack three. Now, is there any contracts in tier three? No. I don't know what it is because Tombstone Glitch has been around for a while, just a bunch of different iter iterations of it. But ever since Season 2 Reloaded, Tier 3 has been packed. I've seen multiple teams of six roaming around at the same time. It seems like the only way to get any contracts done in Tier 3 now is if you request to join somebody else's group, which on one hand, I don't like very much because I love playing solo. But on the other hand, there is one of those zombies mastery calling cards where you need to complete contracts in a team of six. And I guess the community part of it's fun too. But for now, 
I'm going to take on this mega abomination while it's all alone so I can test out this weapon. And we already got to half health with one broken face. And as much as I'm liking this Lockwood, one thing bad that I will say about it is I still seem to run out of ammo pretty frequently with it. So I need you zombies to drop me some. And did they nerf the Haymaker? It seems like it's doing a little bit less damage this time around. You hear that? Or I just got so used to the flamethrower attachment that seeing anything die in more than four seconds is bad. It's time for you to die, pal. Why don't you go shoot another laser? Why don't you try that out? Go ahead. There you go. It's like about that pretty face of yours. Go on. Sleep. One more. And he's, he's, do he's gone. He's done. This Lockwood is actually really nice. I'm glad we're finally adding some new shotguns to the meta. Oh, and there's a bounty contract. I got to get to it before anybody else does. There are some vultures here. Give me that. Come here, Mimic. What's this doing against you? Still pretty good. Like, it's not like two-shot kill damage, but... It ain't bad. Let's Aether Shroud so we don't die here. Oh, out of ammo. All right, we'll finish you with the Haymaker. How's that sound, Mimic? Okay, did the Haymaker get nerfed? That seemed like a long time. That was a lot of bullets to kill one dude. Oh, I know what it is. I'm an idiot. My brain got nerfed. This is still pack two. So the Haymaker is actually still really good if it was actually being able to kill things here in tier three at pack two. And if nobody's going to take these bounties from me, I'm going to keep doing them. Give me that. What they really need to do is give me something that's going to drop me an Aether Rift. Or a Sigil for one, I mean. So what do you say, Disciple? You want to help me out with that? Oh, never mind. Out of ammo. This is starting to become a problem with the Lockwood. Uh, let me throw it on a jug. And we will uh, figure out what we're going to do about that later. Let's get in there and take the rest of you out. Especially you. See you later. What you got for me? Oh! Oh, he did want to help me out. What a guy. Now, I'm really curious. So let's see what this can do against our old pal, the Stormcaller. What's up, buddy? Stop you from healing. Broke your mask. Shouldn't you point blank? Um, the damage is actually decent. It's nothing like the Tomfler or the Flamethrower, but it was still pretty good. Too bad I'm already out of ammo, though. Huge problem with this gun, but the damage is there. Oh, and you're just going to sit outside of the storm and heal? Fuck you. All right, that was just a warm-up fight. Where'd you go? You can't keep running from me. I'll find you wherever you go. But your zombies are kind of fucking me up, so I'll give you that. This is a good strap on your on your side. Tell you what. Oh, shit. And there is my last self revive. So you know what, Stormcaller? I'll give you this one. I could definitely kill you with this thing, but nah, I don't want to. I'm leaving because I want to, not because I was getting my ass beat. And just let the record show that. And if this just had a little bit more ammo... It'd be your ass. Ooh, an HVT Mega Abomination. The ultimate test for this thing. What's up, dude? Yeah, shoot your laser right off the bat. Per usual, head gone. This thing's like a monster slayer. And an ammo eater. The zombies, drop me some now. He's already at half health. We've only been fighting him for like a minute. And we're really close to killing him already, actually. There we go. I'm bad, dude. I'm really liking this gun. And give me Pack-A-Punch 3. Both our weapons are fully upgraded. And I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Haymaker. Oh, wait. This guy is Booty Hole Snatcher. And we got Booty King Slayer. Are you slaying King's booties? Or are you the king of slaying booty? Because the king's kind of in the middle there. It's like ambiguous. Either way, pretty impressive. But my time here in Urzik stands coming to an end. Time to go to the Dark Aether. And with that little number, we just went ahead and lost some exfil points. Yeah, we're down to containment level 12 now. I've basically gone to the Dark Aether like 90% of my games since season two reloaded. And every single time I'm bound to lose at least 10 points towards my containment level. I'm surprised I'm not in the negatives yet. Such a cool little feature of going to the Dark Aether. I really got to fix that, though. You should get more containment points for going in here. I went to another dimension and survived. And I get punished for it? And they gave us a mega abomination and just a normal rift. I didn't even know that was possible. But you've done all the preparation for it, Lockwood. Can you take out this dude? I'm thinking, yeah, because his head's already broke. We already got a good amount of damage on him, too. Oh, yeah, we're already out of ammo. Technically, what does this thing have when it's fully ammoed up like 97 bullets something like that 94 bullets and since we're shooting both shells every time we pull the trigger jeez almost died right there we technically only have half of that so what is that like 47 46 shots which is still a good amount for a shotgun but man does it go fast oh quick nuke too 
Gone. Forget about it. And what ship loot? I need another Maggle holding. Actually, you know what? I've spotted this a few times since I've been into the Dark Aether, but I haven't cleared it out. They have a, a small little stronghold here. I want to see if there's actually a reward for it because you don't get anything for clearing out the mall, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. But I, I do see a chest up there. Oh, that's a light. Come on, we only got a few more to go. Actually, is this it right here? It is. Sweet. What kind of loot is this giving out? As soon as all these zombies uh, do me the, a nice fine favor of fucking off. Dude is in the ceiling. Stepmom type B. All right, what we got? Some ass. Is that the only chest in here too? Nope, there's a merc chest. Got a cashmere. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. And that's it. Not worth it. What better loot in these dark aether chests? That's why we have this whole map where we really can't do anything else on it besides the three contracts here. And as much as I'm liking the new Lockwood, the Outlast contract really just designed for the haymaker. I get to do the lazy strata just sitting here and taking everything out with little to no brain power, which is great for me because I really don't have that much to begin with. I've still barely been touched, only by like Hellhound Flame. But I think Activision's starting to catch on to this spot over here because I'm seeing zombies stop and try to throw their meat at me. And I'm not even standing on the table. They just think I am and they're pelting me. What the fuck? Okay, the second I start talking about, oh, I'm doing so good, I haven't been hit. They're like, bet. Give me that contract, little bitches. Oh, Maggle holding, perfect. And an Elder Sigil. And let's hit up this little rift in here so we can get to the roof a bit faster. But like, you guys get what I'm saying, right? There's all this space in the map all over here that you don't even go to in a normal Dark Aether run. You only go over there in some parts of that for the story mission. How often are you redoing that story mission? Like, it's kind of fun to do, I guess, but you don't really get a whole lot from it. Either way. We're just gonna clear this contract super easy with the power of Cashmere and Lockwood. It's just that simple. And how can we forget our pal Monkey Bomb featuring Lockwood again? Dude's on a legendary run and that's the contract. With still 20 minutes to spare. It took us 10 minutes to do all three of those contracts. That ain't bad at all. Let's see what our reward is. What you got for me? Some bullshit is what you got. And that was a pretty successful run. I mean, aside from our uh, our X-Fill score going down again. Well, we got out with two mags of holding. We got two for one. But final thoughts on the Lockwood. It is really, really good. The main issue with it is just running out of ammo. But as a support weapon, or if you plan to stay near an ammo cache, kind of similar how you would with just like the flamethrower attachment right now, you can kind of just tear through things. I think it's right up there with the Haymaker. Just a little bit slower of a fire rate. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.